What's up everybody? Kevin from Stingray Biology here. We did have uh, another birth today and it was a small batch again and I will show you that right now. Those babies are amazing, amazing, okay? And we will get to that. So let me go grab Oi and uh, obviously she's gonna take over on the camera and help me out, all right? Hey Oi, ready? Okay, let's go. Now, I know I told you guys before, you know, I got a lot of births, and I was always thinking, am I just doing too much redundant material? But all of you guys said, no, you want to see every single birth, right? So here I am giving it to you. So hopefully you don't get bored. But today, I don't think you will because these pups are just absolutely phenomenal. Come on, right? There's one right there. Show them. Really nice. Then we're going to zoom in a little bit so people can see. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is a newborn fish. Huge spots. Really nice. And there's a couple of more. They're scattered around somewhere. Oh, there's one under the cage right there. Can, let, me, let me push it out and then you show them real quick. Oh my gosh. It seems like these litters are getting better and better. Zoom in on it for them, Oi, so they can see it. Now, you guys tell me, what do you think? Is that big spot or what? And there's one more back there in the back corner. All right, it's all the way back there. All right, but anyways, let me start. You know what, I might as well just start with this one right here. It's since it's the closest one. Hey, oh, you still didn't get me that GoPro for Christmas. I think everyone watching our videos would want to see us filming this underwater. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, so active. There we go. I got it. Oh, my, my, my. That is really nice, pup. Holy cow. All right, let's take a look at the sex. It's a male. It's a male. Okay, now look. This is something that uh, you guys haven't seen before. You see this little sack right there? Okay, that's the yolk sack. All right, so, um, so when they're developing inside the mother, they have a milk uh, that the mother produces that they feed off of, but they also have their own yolk sack, okay? And sometimes when the pups are born a little bit early, you get that. And sometimes if they're born really early, it's really big. So in this case, there's a little bit of a yolk sac. And um, I've gotten people who messaged me in the past showing me the underside of their ray. And they're like, hey, what's this little black dot on the belly underneath? Is that normal? Well, now you guys know. That's kind of like the belly button. That's where the yolk sac got all absorbed and it left a little mark right there. So it's our equivalent of a belly button. So for all you guys who didn't know, that's what it is, all right? We're going to gently nudge him out. This one's just as nice as the, uh, the first one. Oh my. Okay, here we go. Let me hold it over here so it's easier for you. I can only imagine you know, if it's this nice as newborn, how much nicer is it gonna be as it develops? Because typically with pups, uh, their pattern is not as pronounced when they're first born. And then over the next month, they, they get nicer and nicer. They start to develop their contrast and their pattern starts to grow. This thing's gonna be amazing. All right, let's see this one. This one's a male also. And you see, same thing. They have a tiny little yolk sac. Okay. Uh, where's the last one? Oh, there it is. Right here in the middle. Okay. Now this guy, the spots doesn't look quite as big as the other two, but it's still very big spot. And I do see a little bit of damage on the disc. Let's take a closer look here. Oh, come on. Okay. 
Yeah, see right there? Oh, right there. There's some damage on the disc, a little cut. So it's possible that when this might have been like the first pup to be born, and uh, when when the fish give birth, there the female releases hormones into the water that, that uh, drives the males nuts. So probably the male got onto this pup right away and it caused a little damage. And okay, see we see skin damage there, a little yolk sac there, and this one is a female. Okay, so we got two males and one female. Let's give everybody a nice family shot here. That looks great. All right. I'm just gonna pause here for a second, put this stuff away, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these pups. I have a pup tank um, set up for it, and it's one of the new tanks right here. I'm gonna be putting it up there. This tank has been running for a little while. I do have one ray in there, you can see it, to help cycle the tank. So that's where I'm gonna put these guys, and let's see how they do. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, Oi abandoned me. I'm on my own now. Here are the pups. I'm getting ready to drop it into the tank here. Let me climb up this ladder. <clears throat> uh, da, 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 da. Hold on, bear with me. I gotta open up the cover. There we go. And we're gonna release these rays now. There we go. So this is gonna be their new home for quite some time where I'm gonna train them to eat. Looking very nice. And that's an older pup that I had in here for cycling. But man, these look gorgeous. Uh, let me get the net and move them around to face us so we can get a better look at these guys. Oh yeah. I don't know what could be more rewarding to spend all these years trying to, uh, you know, develop something really nice and finally have that hard work pay off, you know, got you guys, you know what I mean? But man, that is awesome. All right, so now the pups are in their tank and there's something that I need to do. I have this female in this cage for quite some time now. She used to be, where? Show them, show them better. She's really nice. She used to be down there with the rest of these guys, right? But that male was very aggressive towards her. Okay, but now I think I want to release her. That way we have an opportunity for them to mate. And now is the, the what's the word, um, the best time to do it. Because since the other female just gave birth and those hormones are in the water, like what I told you earlier, it's probably the best chance for him to mate her right now, okay? Hopefully he doesn't destroy her again like, like what he did in the past. Um, I know that he already mated the female that gave birth. So, well anyway, here we go. We're just gonna take it easy. We just gotta get this net underneath her. Hopefully she doesn't freak out, she's quite big. And uh, hopefully my doctor is not watching this video because I'm not supposed to be moving anything heavy at the moment. But I figure I'm just gonna uh, lift her right out of the this cage and over into the tank so it shouldn't be too bad there we go he's really beautiful too so i'm hoping i can get some really oh look at that all right there's probably one other thing i want to do as well and that's the female that just gave birth i think i want to put her into this cage at least that way she can recover more easily she does have some pretty intense bite marks on her as well but now she's trying to spook them in the back. Let me see if I can get the other net, which is longer, to try to get her to come forward. Okay, there she is. Oh, take it easy. See, by me throwing the new fish in there, it kind of freaked everyone else out. 
Um, that's definitely something we don't want to happen. Come on, girl. I'm doing something for your own good. Don't give me a hard time. Okay, here we go. See, they're stuck to the wall like a suction cup. And all you gotta do is get them off the wall a little bit, and then they will glide right into the net. But that's, it sounds simple, but that's actually the hardest part to do, which is getting them off the wall or the bottom. So usually what I do is I take this smaller net, which can get under her, and help her break the suction off the wall. You see that? Ah, uh, don't get away from me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's quite feisty. Ah! All right, we're gonna have to start over again. She got away from me. Finally got her pinned off back into this corner again. She's right here on the wall. Here we go, here we go. I got her off, I got her off. Okay. See, now she's in the net. Okay. Now I just gotta lift her over onto the side. One, two, three. Alright, there she is. Oh my god. Look at this. Look what she did to my net. Alright, so anyway, you can show us that, boy. Once the water stops rippling, just give it a second, you'll see all the bite marks that are on her and why I chose to separate her. All right, let me pause for a sec. Just pause for a second and wait for the water to stop shaking. All right, the water's settled down a bit now. So there you go, you see? There's bite marks right there. There's a fresh bite mark right there by the head. It's a little bit bloody. I don't know if you guys can see it. And some marks right there. And her, the straight line that you see there, that was previously damaged where she got hurt pretty bad. I think all in all it's pretty good, you know, she recovered from the previous injury and she was able to remate and have babies. So that's awesome. You know what, I, I think that's it for today's video. You got to see newborn babies, you got to see me moving around some big adults and putting them into better breeding situations and you got me separating an injured female, you know, in a hospital cage or tank or whatnot. But anyway, so thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys soon. Take care.